evening basketball fans and welcome to Nashua North High School in my hometown of Nashua, New Hampshire for a real good one in Division 1 tonight. It's the Nashua North Titans coming in with a record of 6-2, and two, taking on the Pinkerton Astros who are currently sitting atop the standings in Division 1 at 7-1. and one. It's a rematch of a spectacular semifinal game last year at UNH in Durham where Nashua North came in as a 15 seed and almost knocked off the Astros before the Astros were able to prevail ended up going to the championship game and losing a tough one against their rivals from Londonderry. Both teams I don't think anybody would su be surprised if they met up in the Final Four again this year. Got a lot of great players on both sides. We'll have all the highlights, all the play-by-play, -play, the post-game reaction as well with the winning coach and the winning team. Our coverage tonight brought to you by Neighborhood Fundraising. If you're looking to raise money for your group, your team, your organization just reach out to Dave Haley at nhsportspage.com and Dave will help you. Does a great job. Works with a lot of programs around the state and he can help you guys earn and create very, very valuable revenue streams. We know you need money to make the world go round. And speaking of money, we appreciate the donations that have been pouring in from our readers, our viewers of nhsportspage.com and I want to thank personally three Pinkerton families who have stepped up. The family of Brennan and Morris, the family of Ben Olson, and the family of Tom Romick. They all made uh, donations to help the cause here at NH Sports Page, and we really appreciate it. We need it. I mean, it costs a lot of money. These are side jobs. Everybody thinks this is our full-time job. No, we do this for passion, and it costs a lot of money, eating out all the time, driving all over the place. So whatever you can do to help with our donations, we'd really, really appreciate it. And I just got to meet Bill Olson for the first time tonight. He's been my Twitter buddy over the last year or so, and I finally met him in person, so it was nice to see Bill tonight. We'll get you the highlights coming up now. Pinkerton and Nashua North on NHSportsPage.com. It's going to be Alonzo Linton jumping center against Ben Olson, and a tap is won by Olson, and Pinkerton will have it first. Seth Gill met the point guard, hands it to Brennan Morris, and right off the bat, he's going to hit a three-pointer from the top of the key, and it's 3-0 Pinkerton off the three ball from Brennan Morris. McCarthy brings it over. Right side, Hale. Hale working against Olsen. Hale drives by him to the basket and scores off the window. Nice take by Nate Hale. Just quicker than Big Ben Olsen. And we're tied at seven. I don't know if a bolt just dropped off the rim or what, but Tommy Romick just went to the floor. Yeah, a little extra bolt, I guess. Right hand side, Gil Matt Romick for three in the right corner. It's good. Tommy Romick puts the Astros back on top. It's 10 to seven, Pinkerton. Under five and a half minutes left in the first quarter. And Linton takes it strong to the hoop and scores off the feed from Boykin. 10-9, Pinkerton still on top by one. Right side, Boykin now in the right corner, Linton. Linton back to Boykin, deep right wing. Boykin dribbles to the middle now, feeds Silva left side, left corner three, Hale. And Hale sinks it, and the Titans are on top. It's 12 to 10, Nashua North. Rizzo across the timeline with Linton riding him. Rizzo picks up his dribble, feeds it to Ben Olsen on the low block, kicks it Romick for three, and Romick sinks the three in the left corner. And it is now 13-12, Pinkerton back on top. Three and a half to go first quarter. They beat the press with a pass to Hale. Hale's going to try a three, and Hale puts it home. Back and forth we go. 15-13, North back on top. Left corner, Romick. Romick looking for Olsen down on the low block. Romick bounce pass to a cutting end. Zavino lays it in. Nice feed by Romick and a good cut and finish by Anzavino. And the Astros are up three, 17-14. pass intended for Olsen got picked off. Up ahead, Linton. Body control, missed the shot, got his own rebound on the other side of the basket. Scored him the foul. Alonzo Linton followed his miss, and he's got a chance to tie this game with a free throw here on the and one play. From Hale in the corner, it's no good. McCarthy tips the rebound, but it goes to Gilmette. Lost control of the dribble. McCarthy couldn't come up with it. Nice pass, Anzavino to Morris, and Pinkerton's back on top, 19-17. It's left, Hale has it. Hale, across the timeline with five. Hale still with it, middle of the floor. Hale at the free throw line, scoops it up, and it falls down at the buzzer, and North 
cuts it to two at the end of one. A very entertaining first quarter. 21-19 Pinkerton after one. They got Shane Legras in the game for the first time. Number 22 in the right corner. Here's Silva down the lane. High arcing shot goes from Ronnie Silva. That breaks the Pinkerton run to start the second quarter. It was a 4 nothing run. Here's Morris for three, and he sticks it right in the face of Legras, and the lead is up to 7, 28, 21 Astros. Good right side, McCarthy fights for the rebound. Silva came up with it, fed Buckmeyer who missed, but Silva falls on the other side. The two little guards for Nashua North making something happen there, and it's down to five, picking it up 28, 23. And Morris came down with it. Morris feeds it to Brown in the lane, puts it up, rejected by Vidabal. Here's Romick for three, and Romick sticks it. And the lead is eight, 33-25. Vidaval with the big block, but it went out to Romick, and he drained the three. Now a steal by Romick. Romick, off the window, it's good. Tommy Romick can score in a hurry. And it's a 10-point picker and lead. Uh, Gatorade, whatever it is in that jug. Here's Linton on the drive, flips it up, and gets it to go, pretty finish. The lead is eight for Pinkerton. Three minutes left in the half. He's picked off. Hale has it. Behind his back, five seconds. Across the court. Feeds it Silva for three at the buzzer. And it's good. Ronnie Silva hits the three at the end of the half and cuts the lead to six. 40 to 34. Pinkerton on top of Nashville. Defensively. Now Gilmet crossover feeds Roman. Faked on the three, fed it to Gilmet. Gilmet back to Romick, and Romick, now he's got 20. He sticks to three, and the lead is nine again, 43-34. Here in the third quarter, picking it up by nine. Here comes Silva. Silva swings it left side, Linton. Linton reverses it up and in, off the window. Alonzo Linton cuts the lead to seven, 43-36. to 36. 45-36. to 36. Right corner three, Hale sticks it and breaks a little run and the lead is back to six, 45-39. Now to Rizzo, deep right wing. Cross court pass, Gilmet in the corner. Gilmet swings it back to Rizzo. He'll take the three and Rizzo drains it. And once again, the lead is nine for Pinkerton, 48 to 39. He's missed the layup. Rebound Linton. Linton attacking. Linton all the way to the basket. Scoops it up. It's good. And the foul. Taking a lead with possession. Rizzo gets it away to Romick. Romick feeds Morris right side. Morris going to take a three. And Linton's got to get out and defend because Morris is going to drain that all day. Ten left in the period. Here's Morris, right wing. Swings it up top, Rizzo open three. Knocks it down, Matt Rizzo. His third basket here in the second half. And the lead is 14 for Pinkerton, 56 to 42. Rizzo has it right hand side. Feeds it to Olsen, now Morris for three. And Morris switches it. They didn't hold for one. And it's probably a good thing because the lead is 17, 59 to 42. We're under 20 seconds with the clock running here in the third quarter. They get it into Rizzo. Rizzo across midcourt. Rizzo with two seconds, feeds it Anzavino. He takes it and makes it at the buzzer. It counts. Anzavino at the buzzer. And Pinkerton extends the lead. 19 point lead after three. Three ball, hail, no good. Rebound Rizzo. Rizzo up the middle. Rizzo feeds Morris. Morris to the basket. 65-44, 21-point lead. Feeds it, Olsen, another jumper from where he just hit. That one did not fall. And Hale attacking the other way. Hale all the way to the bucket. Finger roll is good. Nate Hale, 67 to 50, 17-point deficit. Now the rebound for Nashua North. Feeds it ahead to Silva. Silva, shake and bake, and rejected by Olsen. by Hogle, and that's going to do it. Your final score, Pinkerton wins it big.
over in Ashland North. 74 to 55. The Astros improve to 8-1 and one, and they lead the Division 1 standings. The Pinkett and Astros looking good tonight, improving to 8-1. and one. They run Nashua North out of their own gym, really, in the second half. They open this thing up with a 21 to 8 third quarter. Broke open a six-point game at the half, which was really a nine-point game at the half, but Ronnie Silva drained a three at the buzzer. I got some of the guys to help make it happen. And I think this is the first time I've interviewed a team, and they're all taller than me. So this is the type of size that the Astros have. We got Brennan Morris down here, Tommy Romick over here. We got Matt Rizzo over here, and Big Ben Olsen down on the left. And I'll start with you, Tommy, because you really got things going in that first half. You had 17 of your 24 points in the first half, and you guys just ran up and down the floor. And they were running with you in that first half. But what was it about that third quarter that helped you guys pull away? Uh, we just like to keep the ball moving around, and like we, once we get our, our team shoot, we just like to keep it keep it going around. And went like, uh, um, damn, got me freezing. Um, it's just we just like to keep once you keep the ball moving, once you get our shot going down, it's like there's no going back from there because, like, like I said, you get the threes down, there's no getting back on that. Well, you had four threes, and Brennan, you also had four threes in the game. But I think your game has changed a little bit this year. You seem to be, I mean, you look like you got a little stronger, putting on some muscle, but you're taking the ball to the basket a little bit. Does that help you score a little bit more, not not just relying on that outside shot? Yeah, I mean, uh, last game, I think I only shot one three, or maybe two, one or two threes. And I, I rely a lot on driving more this year than last year. Than last, year. last year, I was mainly a three-point shooter. And I, that's what kind of what I was there for. But this year, I'm more like, I can do both. If they guard me on the three, I can go by my man and make a play. Let's go to you, Ben, down here. I mean, we talk a lot about the size, but this National North team has a lot of size. I mean, Sam McCarthy is a big physical guy. Alonzo Linton, very, very long, only a sophomore. Nate Hale is a big guard. I mean, what was it like banging against those guys all game long? I thought you kind of changed a lot of their shots there defensively in the low block. Yeah, I mean, like, coach just tells me to play position basketball, stay straight up, because, like, sometimes I get in foul trouble. But, like, you know, when I was just there, they – they just messes them up. They're too small. They can't get around me. So they just got to change their shot. They don't know what to do. So just be there and have my hands in their face. And what can they do about it? Matt, you uh, started to heat it up a little bit in the second half. Ended up uh, finishing with 10 points. So three guys in double figures. But I want to look ahead now. You can look ahead. This game's over. You got the big one against your rivals, Londonderry, at your place on Monday night. And then you got to turn around and play them again on Saturday in Londonderry. <laughs> And oh, by the way, they beat you in the championship game last year. So how do you feel about that? Those matchups? Yeah, we're uh, we're definitely better than last year. I mean, I think we're getting we're improving from last year. That uh, last game of the season last year in the championship that was hard for us, but um, we're definitely able to come back and um, we're playing strong right now. And I think that uh, we'll uh, take it to them on Monday and then get right back on it on Saturday. So. All right, the Pinkerton Astros, 74-55. They beat Nashua North by 19. Pinkerton, an impressive victory tonight, 74 to 55. You guys are now eight and one. I got Coach Pete Rosinski with me. Was this your best game of the season? I mean, I haven't seen you yet this year, but I mean, that was a pretty good display by your team tonight. Yeah, I'm very pleased with them, but I got to say, the Central game was really an outstanding game for us. Central is, you know, well coached. As this team is well coached, but uh, we were very happy to win the game. Very happy, and uh, the kids played well. I, I was really impressed with the kids coming off the bench in the second quarter when we got a little foul trouble. I was also impressed. We're getting better at changing up our defenses and getting with our slides defensively and knowing what we want to do execution-wise. So uh, we're improving. we still got a ways to go, and so we hope to continue that. The third quarter is really what made the difference. You outscored them 21 to eight in that quarter. It was really good defense, and then that fast break mentality. I mean, you guys are playing at a faster pace, a higher tempo than you have in years past. Well, uh, we have more guards, more guard strength and uh, experience at the guards. Uh, the other years we didn't, we didn't have as much strength at the guards. So uh, we know that we have the depth there, and we're going to push. Uh, so we're real pleased with that. How about the games coming up uh, against your rivals? I know you got two games against them in like a five-day span. Yeah. And don't you even have a game in between that? No. No, no so uh, that will be fun. It's always a great crowd at Londonderry, and it will be a great crowd at our place for Londonderry. 
Uh, you know, I'm sure the, the boys will be pumped, you know. We lost a tough one in the championship. That ball could have dropped, you know. But that's 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 the game. It is beautiful. And, I'm, you know, we're, we're uh, you know, uh, uh, we respect them. They, they, they've done a great job there. And, uh, you know, Nate's done a great job there. And uh, the kids are good kids. And we know them well. And so it's it's good fun either way. Now, why are they doing it on a Monday night and then a Saturday afternoon? Is that Was that by design? Uh, I know Saturday afternoon we have a television production company coming in. I don't know the reason why we did the Monday night game. But uh, my philosophy is play whenever you can. Yeah. Well, you certainly certainly played well tonight, so congratulations on the victory and improving to 8-1. and one. We thank you very much, and we thank all that you do for the kids in New Hampshire. Uh, the kids just love it, and we really appreciate it. All right, Coach, we'll see you soon. Yeah, thank you.